Here's a scenario. How do you get a QFP chip or a QFN chip onto a breadboard? Pretty impossible. But if you're using today's latest chip technology, a lot of times it's not available in a dip package, and you really have no choices. Until now, SmartBoard has come out with a line of dip to SMT adapters with SmartBoard's easy solder technology that makes it easy, fast, and flawless for anyone to hand solder an SMT part. Let us first demonstrate a QFP. Our boards support both QFP and QFN on the same board. First you put the chip in place and it's really easy because the legs fall into grooves that are on the board. You then add a little bit of water soluble solder flux and start to solder. Basically all you're doing is putting the tip of the iron in each of the grooves. The solder melts right to the leg and you really can't mess it up. You do want to make sure the tip on your iron is smaller than the pitch of the, the chip that you're soldering. Okay, we're not going to do all four sides. I think you get the idea. Now basically what you do is add headers. And rather than uh, showing you how to solder headers, we already have one that's done. And you just put it right into the breadboard. You're ready to go. Uh, let us now show you the QFN. QFN is a little bit different than the QFP. As you know, the QFN doesn't have the legs sticking out, so it's, it's much harder. Uh, additionally, on a uh, QFN component, a lot of times there is a pad on the bottom that needs to be soldered, and we've even figured out how to do that. So let us show you how to do that now. Now on a QFN chip, the whole chip falls into a crevice. That's the exact si size of the package. You again take uh, the solder flux and again you start soldering. The pads on the QFN are lined up with the grooves on our board so again you're just moving the solder, melting the solder. Okay. Now for the pad that's on the bottom what you want to do is turn the board over and there is a plated through hole and you'll basically take some solder and fill up that hole and now you have basically soldered that pad that's on the bottom. Again you would add the headers and we've already done one for you. And there you go. And basically two minutes we have so uh, soldered a QFN and a QFP and you are ready to go uh, breadboard with the most advanced chip technology on the market.